Hello and welcome to Lorbeck Luxury Cars. I'm Harry and on this edition of the Friday Drive, I view this out 2012 Audi TT RS. The top of the range in the TT family, the RS packs some pretty serious punch. Under the bonnet is a 2.5 litre turbocharged five cylinder engine, which outputs 250 kilowatts of power. Now this is fed through to a seven speed double clutch gearbox, which is then fed to four wheel drive hence the Quattro name. So this is a serious performance car, but it does all this while you're wrapped in Recaro seats lined with Napa leather and climate control. But enough of all of that, let's keep this intro short and sweet and get it on the road and see what it's like. The story of the Audi TT can be traced to the old days of Group B rallying, with the original Audi Quattro debuting in 1980 in the Jenner Rally as the first rally it participated in. And in 1981, piloted by Michel Mouton, the Audi Quattro was the first car ever to have a female driver win a Rally World Championship. And between 1981 and 1986, the Quattro won 23 World Rally Championships cementing the four-wheel drive system and the Quattro into rallying fame forever. So that's all good and well. We all like a bit of history. I mean, like the Quattro, this shares obviously the four-wheel drive and the five-cylinder turbocharged engine. And the net result is you get something with a really unique sound. It's, it's got a lot of character. It's actually, that's a really good noise. I'd love to say I could compare the road-going Quattro to the example we are driving today, but I'm yet to get behind the wheel of an original Quattro. Maybe we'll have one soon, but I suspect beyond the similarities we have just mentioned, there's probably not much else to compare. And that's a good thing. Technology has moved on so rapidly and so fast. It's, you just sit there and wonder what cars are gonna be like in the future. I mean, this thing is most likely faster than a lot of the cars that we, you know, we know in the 70s and 80s, probably a lot faster around the track. And I suspect this one could be faster again than a Quattro around the track, which is pretty incredible. And like I mentioned before, it does all of that in comfort. I mean, the ride is firm, but you know what? It's not terrible, it's not jarring. It's, it's a performance car. It's exactly how you expect it to be. And it's, for a performance car, it's really good. It just boggles the mind how quickly technology changes and how such incredible performance is now so accessible, especially for so little money. Imagine what cars are going to be like in 10 years time, especially when we start getting more and more performance electric cars out there. Just, just incredible. So if you're in the market for the best value, best sounding and characterful performance coupe with unrivaled racing pedigree, then come down to Lorbeck Luxury Cars and buy today. We'll see you next week. Oh.